We have an update after burglars ransacked a nonprofit meant to help homeless LGBTQ youth. Everything was stolen from Courage MKE's new property down to the copper pipes. Julia Fellow shows us the warm hearts in our community getting the organization back on track three months later. Grifters stole everything out of Brad Schleikowski's new nonprofit building, amounting to $100,000 in damage. I cried a few times. Today, you see it's all cleaned up with new walls and piping back where it should be, turning it to tears of joy. It kind of makes you have tears in the eyes because you're getting that much closer to be done. Brad says they have also received about $25,000 in donations. The North Central Carpenters are donating all of their labor and supplies Coles is providing free furniture and an upgraded alarm system was installed thanks to an anonymous donor. And with the piping now replaced, Brad says he may have gotten the best news of all so far. IKEA plans to install a brand new kitchen right here at the new facility for free. And the company's designer was just here scoping out the digs just last week. We're so lucky to have a community that embraces us, right? Since 2019, Courage MKE has housed children in the foster care system from 12 to 17 years old. This new building will help take that mission further to help 18 to 24 year olds who have aged out of the foster care system. As we were seeing our residents age out, once they turn 18, there's about this much money for them. Come this fall, the window replacement they've been waiting on will be installed, and they're building the Clark Square neighborhood can house up to seven adults at a time. The young adults will have a caseworker, be required to obtain a high school diploma, and hold a job. Where we're having real relationships to help turn those lives around. But they are still looking for more donations, including a new driveway and fenced-in backyard. It's a place to give them to escape and not have to worry about judgment or anything. Because for some of these young adults, this may be the first chance they can begin to treat their trauma and become happy, healthy adults of our future. Julia Fallot, TMJ4 News.